Man, you already know who I got in the game. The future is bright. I got Jamar Chase, if not the best, the best receiver in the league. I had Justin over here yesterday. We were talking about the friendly competition that you guys got. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about that and how you view it as far as Justin goes out, balls out, you got the night game that night, I got to top him. Yeah. And I'm going to let him know I top him yeah. too. Oh, uh, man, I, I came back from college, man. Me and him would really sit here and have an altercation before the game and say, let's bet right now who's going to have more touchdowns, more yards, oh, yeah. more catches. So we used to do each each one each game and see who come out with the most targets that game or most catches so um you know we've been doing it for a while now and uh it's just it's just been growing and following us ever since then and it's been pushing us okay so you come from a long lineage of lsu great receivers mm -hmm. before you is odell and jarvis yeah. before that it was a uh, early due set it was buster davis it was Dwayne bow yeah. when you were coming up being from new orleans were you looking up to those guys? Like, did you always know, like, I'm going to LSU? And on top of that, were you looking up to those guys, modeling your game after those dudes? Yeah, um, honestly, man, I didn't want to really go to LSU, man. It was uh, just me just making a decision with my, with, you know, with feelings, man, yeah. at the end of the day, and uh, knowing that my family was right there. Um, but I actually wanted to travel, explore, and, you know, get out of the state, and, yeah. you know, and. I ended up then doing that and it ended up working out good for me. So, yeah. I mean, I can't complain. But at the end of the day, it, it's just, you know, helping me be a better man at the end of the day. Right. Okay, so let's talk about the league. Cincinnati, you've been to the Super Bowl your rookie season. Yeah. For a guy like Brock Purdy who has not played in the game, what are some of the things that you did not expect going from a regular season game to a Super Bowl game. What are those types of distractions that maybe you were like, damn, bro, like, I ain't know I was going to have to do all this this week? In the Super Bowl? Yeah, for the Super Bowl. Uh, the media, man, honestly. Okay. Um, media, it just take a toll on you out there, like, right. out here. Like, it, it, you got so much media to do, and it's, I think it's two days in a row, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, um, if you a, if you a high-caliber player, then it's really the whole week. At yeah, the end of the yeah, day, yeah. so um, you got to be focused on what you came here to do at the end of the day and not saying that I got distracted, but, you know what I'm saying, it's just my first year coming, it's this, is that, it's yeah. this, is that, this, is that, but uh, you got to remember the main goal. So this year, obviously, your man, Joe B, got hurt. With him being healthy, yeah. do you think y'all would have been in that conversation, top of the AFC? You ain't even got to finish that question, brother, 100%. I think everybody know that. We played the 49ers. When he was 100 percent healthy, then yeah. you know that score was 31-17. So you know that 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 discussion right there could set the market straight. So the Chiefs, they got the Niners. Obviously, when you play against the Chiefs in the AFC uh, Championship, you did you did some big damage. What do the Niners have to do? What does Brandon IU? What does Debo? What does Christian McCaffrey have yeah. to do to be able to take advantage of that defense yeah. and get them a win? Uh, honestly, I feel like they just have to. Win a one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, at the end of the day. And Kansas City going to give them one-on-ones because they got so many weapons. You can't just double Debo, IU, Keto, you know what I'm saying? And you're you going to stuff the box for Christian McCaffrey, then they're going to throw the ball. So right. um, they got so many weapons that all, all 49ers got to do is win their one-on-ones and pretty just get the ball in the receiver's facility. Right. So, Jamar, you've done a lot of damage since you walked in the league. It's time for you to get paid. The Bengals... How do you feel about your future yeah. being in Cincinnati? Yeah, uh, my future bright, man, in Cincinnati. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm going to be there the rest of the most majority of my career, if not, you know, there forever. And, um, you know, right now, I, this is the first time where I'm getting the opportunity to see the real business side yes. of contracts, of players with contracts. So it's a toll, man, honestly, you know what I'm saying? And um, Jesse Bates was the first person that, that it hit me with, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Jesse Bates and Von Bell. And Von Bell was the first person that really sat there and gave me vet game on contracts, on yep. football, on organizations. So, you know, Von Bell gave me a big leap in the game, and, you know, I couldn't say nothing but thank you. But, you know, it, it's, it's still to this day teaching me, and I'm still seeing it now. Who do you have winning the Super Bowl? Uh, I got 49ers by a field goal. By a field goal? By a field goal. Ooh. Give me, give me your Mount Rushmore receivers history. 
Uh, and, th and don't include yourself. You're going to play about 15 years. You're going to be there. But right now, who you got? Uh, you got okay. four, baby. Kelvin Johnson. Okay. Got to go Randy Moss. Okay. Um, I, I don't, he ain't do nothing insane like he did in college. Okay. But Peter Ward. Ooh, my yeah. pops put okay. me on him. Okay, Florida State um, legend, baby. He was, Florida State legend. Yeah, that's, he was, me, that's what I grew up on right there. He was there. real nice, man. That's true. But I watched highlights. I didn't really watch him, so he was actually real shifty, man. And uh, I'm going to put Mike Evans in there just because he one of the oldest and the only oldest mud to do it right now with 11,000, 1,100, whatever he got, man. 11 years, years like straight. Each year. Yeah, yeah, 11 years straight. So, um, And then my last one, I'm going to go, um, ooh, this hard. Uh, I know Devontae don't have a rod. He looking a little different. Uh, I'm gonna go Tyreek, bro. Tyreek. I'm gonna go Tyreek, okay. bro. He, that that man is crazy just because he's so fast. He is. Talk to us about your partnership with Sleep Number, man. Yeah, I'm here today with Sleep Number. Um, as y'all know, they partnered up with 80% of NFL players with Sleep Number to get those players to get better sleep and better performances on the field. Um, the thing I love most about Sleep Numbers is, you know, they reached out and actually gave us a, a guide on how to get more sleep. Um, they, they gave us a, a Sleep Number doctor yeah. to tell us, you know, our Sleep Numbers skills, uh, how much sleep we need to get, uh, when to go to sleep, um, and, you know, the rest time. And I think that's the biggest thing for athletes because you, you are an athlete, you know, yeah. you know how we tired all the time. And yeah. now all, all the time we go go to sleep at a certain schedule time and and i think that's what some athletes got to focus at recovery is a big part of it i will let you i will leave you with something when you get older that recovery is going to be more valuable yeah. to you hey jamar appreciate you yes, sir. appreciate you brother yes, sir.